What's up, y'all? Okay, so this is... <laughs> I guess this is going to be a back-to-basics thing because I saw this on Reddit. I'll put a little picture up right here about uh, this dude trying to get this clip off of a lock. And, uh, you know, he says he's not a locksmith, blah, blah, blah. He can pick a lock, of course, but he's not a locksmith. And he doesn't know how to get the clip off, so uh, I just replied to that thread and uh, said use a small screwdriver and then I was like, you know, I really, to me it's just natural. I just, whenever I ran up on a clip, I just grabbed a small screwdriver and took it off. But it occurred to me that maybe not all people that do that. So we're gonna make a really quick short video on removing the clip from a cylinder, unbelievably. I said that not so nice, but I mean, I guess I kind of understand when people don't know how to do something and they think that they have to have a special tool to do it, but you do not need a special tool to get the clip off. Last I saw, this guy was going to order a quick set tool. He had a Schlage lock. So I've got everything from Defiant, Gatehouse, Calroyal, LSDA. We've got a Schlage cylinder here, quick set and some secure key cylinders. These closely match kind of what he's dealing with. So without further ado, all you need is a screwdriver and you don't even need a small screwdriver. I mean, you could use a small screwdriver or even a smaller screwdriver or a long, small screwdriver, or you could even use a big screwdriver if you really had to. If that's all you have, you could use this. This would be really awkward to use, but I mean, you could use that. Anything really to get and just push the clip off. It's not that hard, y'all. So again, it's not gonna be a very long video. This is just gonna be how, <laughs> how to remove the clip. So here's a Schleg F-Series. Take your screwdriver, put your thumb on it now you know when you on some of them when you start to some of them are easier than others i will admit some of them are problematic but you see it just turns and turns and really all and it, it's almost coming off by itself right there we see that look at that so really just put your finger in front of it put your thumb on one side if you put your thumb kind of right there and then push now yeah you you might you might jab yourself if you're not careful. If you're careful, you won't. Once you get it off, that's it. Same way with any of these. Now these come, when they come apart, they have this little cap on them. So of course, you have to remove this cap anyway to get it to follow out. We see it's got that little black clip under there. So we're just gonna turn it around until we get it in a good spot. Put our thumb right there and push kind of hard to do through the camera lens but that's all there is to it so we can repeatedly go through now once it's coming off this way of course when you go to pull it off it's going to be blocked by that so it's always a good idea to turn it away like that before you try to take it off and yeah, like I said, some of them are pretty slippy, but for the most part, it's not that big of a deal, guys. Now, some of them on like LSDA locks and stuff have a convenient little notch. Really, all you have to do for those is just get in that notch and pull the clip off. You know, like I said, it doesn't matter what screwdriver you have. We have a number, whatever this is, over here here we go we'll use uh, we'll use one like in the example so we got that clip on it right there we're just going to choke up on the very front of this screwdriver and push it look at that look at that if all you have is a six in one or 12 in one or whatever you can get the smallest blade and on your open end, and where are we? There it is, put our thumb up against it to hold it still, and push, 
fish. Now, of course it is, it would be much better to use a smaller screwdriver for this task, but you know, in case you don't have a small screwdriver, it's not that bad at all. We'll use the bigger side of a different six in one. That was the small side. We'll go bigger side, grab it, find the leg. Where, where's the leg? And push right off. No big deal. One little caveat to that is if, uh, say, you know, you're a locksmith and you have a lock picked, like on the Schlage F-Series, where you have to pick the lock to get it off. While you could just turn it back and make it easier, you would have to shim it to take it apart, because obviously at this point you're in the rekey phase. So what I do on this particular style cylinder is just turn it all the way one way. It's got a positive stop on these particular cylinders and put it at that positive stop. And then when I'm turning or pushing it off with whatever, we'll just use a small screwdriver. Um, I kind of hold the plug. I put the plug kind of on, on my finger like that so that it holds it still. And uh, then again, just push and pull. And lastly, if you are working on, uh, say, a quick set, for example, now this is where you would want a quick set tool. Quick set tools don't really work on Schlage. They are just not cut out for it. Get it? Cut out? <laughs> okay. Um, so they are designed for a quick set which is a little bit different and with the quick set tool of course the pickle fork which i've done a video on you just kind of brock it back and forth so if you didn't have the pickle fork on this you you can use a script but what happens is you're when you when you do it with this you spread out the the clip and that's not good so uh this you would ideally use a pickle fork for it you can also use uh, this uh, snap ring pliers and just put on each side of the bottom and then just kind of rock it back and forth until it pushes out. And you can even take pliers. If you don't do that, we'll just take my super tool here. Just take the tips of the pliers and rock it off just like that. So literally, really not a big deal if we were gonna, you know, need to do this on Say this one, we could probably, likely, I don't ever do this, so I don't know if it'll work or not. And I'm, I'm putting my finger, you notice I always hold my finger in it so that when the clip, if it does decide to spring out, it hopefully won't go far. But as you can see, you can really pretty easily, even if you don't have anything else, let's get back in camera frame. You can carefully Get it well you, you get the idea it's possible to do without buying the special tool or whatever so literally any of these tools here any screwdriver any pair of pliers even even a piece of metal just to get in there and get it open will work to get the club off so anyway thanks again for watching guys y'all have a good one if you have any questions or comments as always we'll leave them in the comment section Hey y'all, thanks for watching. Make sure and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Also, there's a link up here in the top corner to subscribe to the channel. If you have not done so, make sure and hit that bell notification so you know instantly when we upload the newest content. Thanks again for being here. We really appreciate all y'all who watch our videos. So make sure and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will catch you next video.